What's up guys? I've got a different video for you today. This weekend I'm going to be restoring my Haywood Wakefield dining table. It's got the two leaves and everything. I'm going to put it to full leaves together here and show you guys some before shots before we take it apart and try and sand it all down and refinish it. I have a stain arriving off of eBay that the man recommended to me. I'll dive into the story of where I found this in a second, but we are going to take this apart, sand it all, uh, stain it and then finish it with something I haven't decided yet but if you guys know anything about this table it's kind of a rare find so I'm a little nervous to take it apart and mess with it it does have some crayon marks on it and some um, it's pretty beat up so I'm gonna show you guys some before shots and we're gonna dive into this project hopefully it doesn't take too long I feel fairly confident that we can handle this project I'm just nervous to like put it back together I'm not nervous about the refinishing phase um, but we'll see. I found this table for $30 at a local auction. Uh, the man bidding against me was, actually I wasn't even bidding on um, the furniture in general. I was just kind of there and watching. Um, the man that won the table, and there was a set of chairs uh, that came with it, he just wanted the chairs. So I overheard him say that he didn't want the table, so I quickly jumped in and said I will gladly take the table. Mid-mod furniture hasn't really caught around, caught on in our area. Uh, the man was from North Carolina. He drove all the way uh, to Ohio to pick up that set of chairs. I can imagine it's a lot harder to find a set of chairs than it is to find a table. But he was a professional uh, refinisher, Wakefield refinisher. That's what he does for a living. And he suggested a stain uh, to use if I wanted to refinish it. Uh, so I looked on eBay, I got the stain and it will be here tomorrow. So the goal today is just to get it all taken apart. Might start sanding, I might not, it's really hot today. But we're gonna get some before shots and then we'll see um, how the disassembly goes. You gonna be a shop dog for this project? So this is what the table looks like, just uh, like all put together. Uh, it's got the three legs and then it's got these leaves that kind of bump out and it's a decent size without the leaves in it. This article was at the auction, so I snagged it when I picked up the table. From what I can tell, um, the original Wakefield tables were made out of maple, and then the uh, there was like another batch that ended up being made. I know nothing about this stuff, so feel free to leave your insights down below in the comments. But this is uh, birch, I think. <laughs> Man, it's such a cool looking table. So right off the bat, I can see um, there's crayon here and underneath there is a few, like some kids were playing underneath and scuffed it up. There are, this is just worn down here. The legs show obvious wear. There's the crayon. Now the scary part, taking it apart. It'll be fine. It's 90 plus degrees. Uh, so first, we're going to go get a furniture moving blanket and uh, put it here. And we're going to flip the table up onto here and start unscrewing all of the brackets that are holding the rest of the leaves on the table. Here we go. Looks like this will be... Good place to stir. It says 197 right there. Oh, Miley. We need a cup. Yeah. Do you want all the hardware removed? I'm going to see what kind of sections it comes off in.
This is Dow. Not all the way through. So that could be a toughie. Like, I don't know. That's, that's probably glued. Like this is screwed in. And then this is glued with that dowel. Or that's just a plug and there's a screw behind that plug. But there's no way of knowing without digging it out. What if we just took off these little side wings and left everything else? Well, I don't know how these are attached in there. Now, oh, I see. So if we take rid of and get rid of this, we should be able to pop these out. The only way to do this is to like leverage with, you know, something here and something to let, give it some pressure. Don't want to? There's no, there's no benefit in getting rid of it. But it, it literally, it just slides in there, so. Yeah. Right. All right, she's back. Abort! It would have come out, but yeah. Not worth it. We're gonna try and take the table. So this off. is tabletop hardware. Tabletop hardware. I think we've got it all pieced out, so there's going to be the three individual leg sections. The two shark fins, we're calling them. The two add-on leaves, and then the two like actual leaves. And then the two attached leg leaves. The guy at the auction suggested using a palm sander with uh, 220. He said if you have some big scratches and stuff. Yeah, Alright, that wraps it up for today. Tomorrow we'll take on sanding. Fairly confident this will go quickly and smoothly. What's up guys, welcome to part two, day two of the Wakefield table restoration. If you want to see us take this table apart, definitely check out part one. I will be putting all these videos together in a full series, like start to finish, so. Uh, but for now, today is day two. Let's dive into it, see how far we can get sandy. I think I'm gonna start with the legs. They're gonna be the hardest thing to do first. We are going to keep doing that. I'll check back in with you guys when we're closer to finishing up. I think we're going to try and finish the legs today and the top tomorrow.
What's up guys? Finally finished up the sanding. It is time to stain this thing and reassemble it and hopefully be done with it. It's been three days now, four days now of sanding. My arms are tired and I'm ready to be done with the project and finish it up. I'm pretty happy with how the sanding turned out. It looks good. I didn't go too crazy. I could have like really spent like a month on this and just made it completely perfect. I'm happy with the way that um, a lot of the big scratches came out. It is ready to be stained. We're gonna open up the stain right now. I mentioned this in the previous videos. The opaqueness, which is what the Wakefield, this um, lighter style of his furniture is known for. It's really, you can't see a lot of the wood grain and it has a toner in it. It also has um, a polyurethane, oil-based polyurethane. So this is gonna be, after four coats, he says to do um, this is going to be ready to go and ready to use again. I'm excited to see it all just done and put together. Also really excited to see how the stain just kind of, stains really change uh, wood when you're finished, obviously. But I'm excited to see how it goes on. So the more coats, the more coats we apply, the more opaque uh, it's gonna get, and less wood grain we're gonna see. Which I really do like the wood grain, but we'll keep it true to its Wakefield style. We gotta wait one hour, and then we'll be back. I probably look really like. Really it's so hot. you can see the difference here with the lighting but this needs one to two more coats and this here is done after two weeks of working on this table it's finally done and ready to be put back together it has been 90 plus degrees with crazy humidity so what should have taken an hour in between stains took a whole day for this to dry so it's just been a very long dragged out process you can see that it's very opaque looking now we are going to put it all back together we've got everything labeled here three two one that's the order we're gonna go in <laughs>
These leaves. This had crayon all over it. Every one of the legs had a dent in it, like multiple dents. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching this whole project. It was a lot of fun. Definitely took a lot longer with the humidity and the dry time. Definitely added a lot of extra hours into this project. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.